Hello and welcome to the newest fridge product video. As you know, we have released the A22 Next with the wet dispersion unit, which was quite revolutionary about two years ago. And now I would like to introduce to you the first sibling, and it is a dry dispersion unit. With the measuring cell, we kept it simple. First of all, we broadened the distance between the glasses in order to reduce contamination. In case a cleaning should be necessary anyhow, you just open the quick release, push forward the red holder and take out the glass. Once everything is so fresh and so clean again, you just insert the glass back into the cell, push the red holder forward and close the quick release. Once everything is assembled back together, you take the cell and insert it into the unit. Did anybody mention cleaning? All the parts which come in touch with our sample are very easily disassembled. In order to clean them, the feeder can be easily released by the release button, taken out of the instrument, reassembled, fastened by the release button again. The funnel is just held by two manually movable screws and the steerer is just put back in here, fasten the screw and you're done. In our lab, we have connected the dry unit to our internal air pressure and also to our vacuum system. Of course, we can also supply you with an external vacuum cleaner and an air compressor. The connections for compressed air are at the back of the unit, the socket for the compressed air and the according connection to the measuring cell. While you find the connection for the switch box, which automatically controls the vacuum cleaner right here next to the connection to the measuring unit. On the top of the unit you'll find three buttons. Manual feeding. Press and hold it. Release it for the desired power. Press it again to stop. The release feeder chute to do just that. And after cleaning, fastening it again. And of course, the vacuum cleaner in order to switch on, well, the vacuum cleaner. In case you have any sample left on the feeder which you want to get rid of, you push the button vacuum cleaner and then hit manual feeding. But there's more to those three buttons than you would guess on first sight. Once you press the release feeder chute, you can control the height of the funnel, going up and going down. Making a measurement always starts with adding some sample into the funnel. The steerer takes care that the sample is always fed without getting stuck in the funnel. We then go into the software and into the menu point SOPs. We select the SOP which we want to use and now we can adjust certain settings. The funnel height controls how much sample will go underneath the funnel, similar to the manual control which we just show showed on the hardware. Next step, laser alignment, dark measurement, and three consecutive measurements here, consisting of a background measurement and the actual sample measurement. At the end, of course, the most important step, a calculation. We can now adjust things like the compressed air, the measuring duration, the feeder power, and so on. Once we're satisfied with the settings, we just go into the collections and add a new one in this case. We change the name, call it test for example, and then 
hit the new measurement button. Now we select our SOP and we again have the chance to make any desired changes right here, which we don't, we just click execute. And with the simplicity and speed that we're used to, we now have a look at our result chart, our percentage table and our diameter table. And with that, I would like to say thank you for your attention and see you next time at the next, next video. Thank you.